All right, fellas, we've been searching around this creek bed over here for snakes and also flipping rocks. And underneath this rock right here, I found one of the snakes that I honestly did not think I would catch this trip. This right here is the Arizona coral snake. This is Microroides urizanthus. And like our Texas coral snake, these guys are elapids. They are neurotoxic. And you don't want to take a whopping from them. But as you can see, they're absolutely stunning snakes. I mean, look at that bright, bright red, yellow, and black bands. And they're a lot eat more evenly distributed than our Texas coral snakes and the eastern coral snakes. The yellow bands are definitely a lot more broader and just cleaner in pattern. There's not much black modeling at all, but gorgeous snake. And you can see too, just like ours, their scales go all the way around. Same thing for the colors, all the way around. Beautiful snake though. This guy right here though, he feeds on snakes just like our Texas coral snake. And a way to distinguish them from the mountain king snakes and the milk snakes that they have here, same thing as ours. It's red touch yellow killer fellow, whereas the milk snakes and king snakes are red touch black friend of Jack. Some people also use, like to use the stoplight method, whereas on a stoplight, the yellow and red lights are touching each other, and the same thing happens on this guy. Red and yellow bands touch each other, and that kind of tells you caution. Whenever you're driving towards a red light, whenever it gets yellow, you know you gotta start slowing down and take caution, and the red means stop. This guy right here, you'll immediately recognize him as a venomous coral snake by the red and yellow bands touching. This does not hold true in every coral snake though. If you go down into Central America and South America, there are several coral snakes that do not follow the same rule. So that only works here in the United States of America. But absolutely beautiful snake. Uh, they commonly don't get much bigger than this. They actually max out somewhere around 22 inches. So if you get a big two foot one, you're, you're doing very well. You can see also too, he's very wiry, just like our coral snakes over in Texas, but uh, definitely a blessing. Got to praise God for this guy. I'm trying to be as gentle with him as possible. Some people actually freehand these guys just because uh, they, they do not bite almost at all. Bites by this guy are very rare and deaths are even rare. I don't even know if there's a single recorded death from the Arizona coral snake and that's mainly just due to the size of them. I mean, they don't really hold enough venom to actually kill a person, but they do have extremely neurotoxic venom. And since I've never been bit by a venomous snake, I don't know how I'd react to that venom. So I'm not gonna take any of those chances. You can also see right now, look at a whale in his tail around. This is another pre anti-predatory defense system that they employ, in which whenever they're captured or caught, they'll take that tail and they will just kind of writhe it right above their head. And that's just to draw attention to the tail. Sometimes they'll even do what's called cloaca popping, where they open their cloaca and they pop it. And it makes a popping sound. And that can be enough just to make a predator go, huh? What the heck is going on? What's that noise coming from this guy? And that'll give him time to escape. Because they are very good at burrowing. I mean, you'll see right now, whenever I let him go, he's just going to shoot probably into the dirt. But I got to praise God to this guy. Definitely did not expect to see him. Arizona coral snake, also known as the snoring coral snake, guys. Beautiful snake. See you later, buddy. Yep, burrowing right into this rock right here. Perfect at burrowing. Perfect. Found after good rainfall, but occasionally you can find them underneath. Uh, Matthew Brian. And its genus and species name is Microrides. Its genus species name is Microrides. What the crap is his name? Hold on, I get it. Such a sissy. Okay, I got it. That's it. Let me just wait until he chills. Should be. Are you still recording? Yeah. I'm gonna pick up the watch out with this. What you're doing? And this guy holds true to that rhyme too. You can see his red and yellow bands are touching. Just like our Texas coral snakes, these guys feed on other snakes and lizard-like. I mean, snake-like lizards.